Over the last couple of weeks, some things have happened to my channel. Dude, I gained 208 subscribers in like the last week. Whoa! And as cool as it was, I didn't feel the way that I thought it would afterward. Let me explain. In December of 2023, I set a goal for myself to reach 200 subscribers in the coming new year. And on May 5th, 2024, I reached it. And then some. This goal that I had built up in my head for months, I thought that I would be excited, proud even, to have reached my goal so quickly. But instead, after the initial shock wore off, I felt nothing. And that's really concerning to me. Okay, hear me out. 432 subscribers is a lot, but I realized that I've been comparing myself to all the other people on YouTube with like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers. And something that I've been asking myself during this time is, will it ever be enough? Will there ever be a number that I'm actually happy with? And to be honest, I, I really don't know. Most small YouTubers strive for a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so that we can monetize our content. But if and when I get there, will it be enough? And even outside of YouTube, if I achieve something, anything, is it enough or will I ask for more? I used to be enrolled in Yale's Science of Wellbeing course. It's basically a how to be happy class. By the way, the class was free to get into. I'm not actually smart enough to go to Yale. But anyway, in the class, the professor asked the students, would they rather make $100,000 a year knowing that everyone they work with makes less than them? Or would they rather make $250,000 a year knowing that everyone they work with makes more? And you know what they chose? They chose to make $100,000 a year knowing that everyone else makes less. And I remember thinking, these kids are so stupid. Who wants to give up $150,000 a year just so they know that they're making more than everyone else they work with? And by the way, making more could be like 25 cents. It doesn't have to be that much more than them. But they want to know that they're the top dog. And the professor was basically explaining to them the reason why they're choosing to make less money. It's all about how they stack up against other people. It's all about comparison. $250,000 is a lot, but compared to everyone else, it isn't. 432 subscribers is a lot, but compared to everyone else on YouTube, it's really not that much. And one of the things that the professor said to stop comparing yourself to other people is to practice gratitude. So I wrote down a few things that I'm grateful for in hopes that it gets me out of my head with all this crap. This might be kind of cringe, but here we go. Number one, I'm grateful for anyone who has left kind or supportive comments. Anybody who takes the time to be nice to a random internet stranger such as myself, thank you. Number two, I'm grateful for anyone who has felt inspired from one of my videos or has learned something about themselves. I'm glad that you guys can connect to the small part of my soul that I put into these, um, and that's probably the most fulfilling part about making videos. Number three, I'm grateful for all the lurkers, all the people who watch the videos and don't do anything else. Honestly, you guys are the backbone to my YouTube watch time, and if I ever get monetized, that's all you, bro. And number four, I'm grateful for you watching this. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. Anytime I see even one view go up on one of my videos, it brings me just a little bit of hope that maybe one day I can help or inspire more people with my content. So really, thank you so much. I don't know where this channel will end up, or if I'll ever be successful in life. But if there's anything I do know, it's that in the world of comparison, I can only be myself. There's something weird about having a number next to your name, and how the more you have, the more apparent value you have as well. And in the grand scheme of things, the numbers don't even really matter. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with making goals for yourself. I think it's good to have things to strive for, to work towards, and to celebrate when you get there. Because if you don't celebrate, what's life even for? And I hope that when you reach your goals, no matter how big or small, you take the time to appreciate the moment. And instead of wondering how you'll feel when you reach another goal or who's achieved more than you, maybe you'll pause and you'll think about how maybe what you have right now is enough. To reaching my goals. Okay, this is really good.